Welcome to Cine Tracer version 0.5. Today we're going to be building with the commercial and urban sets. And the commercial and urban go together really well. They could have probably been in the same category. And they share the same wall height. So these will work together. If you throw in residential, eventually it won't work so well. So try to stick with these together. So let's start with our warehouse floor, our warehouse wall, that one, and this one. And we're going to jump into beams and trims or columns and trims. So this is going to be a new concept for a lot of people. Let's hit one and we're going to do our three by three, which is a great way to start understanding any of these sets together. So what we're going to do now is again, facing from the inside, I'm going to drop two, our little opening here, and then three, these windows, I'm going to finish out the set with these windows so we can see outside and not feel so claustrophobic. There it is. In no time, we have created the exterior walls. And you'll see that these have some very bugged out um, kind of details that we're adding to these. These are not their final form. They will continue to get better. Uh, but they have a little bit of detail and modeling that is very on the outside that wouldn't necessarily look right on the inside. That's kind of this uh, floor trim that's happening here. So what we want to do in this set is get familiar with, I'm going to hop out here, familiar with our concept of a column like that and a trim which is uh where is it it's above me there it is this is how buildings are actually put together uh in a lot of cases i'm gonna hit four again and what we've created here is two columns with a trim across it uh there's a lot of different words for this you could call this a truss this whole thing could be considered a truss but this is um basically how a lot of buildings get put together and that's how we've designed the industrial set and this is to mimic actually how a lot of warehouses and sound stages are built in brooklyn and in la and uh, a lot of grip equipment has evolved to essentially work in this type of system so we're building the architecture to eventually have the grip assist the grip equipment that works for it this comes first first thing we're going to do is put two columns in between the walls you'll see that it's pretty much snapping there for you by default so pretty easy, right? So we have these two beams here, gigantic eye beams. We're gonna hit five, click this, click again, and it just kind of snaps in there for you, kind of magical, right? That's how this was designed, is to make this as straightforward as possible. And what we've done is we have trussed or eye beamed this system here. And the, the architectural idea here is that um, you don't want columns in a warehouse like this so that you can use the floor space as you need to. And you have to have these kind of really strong eye beams to hold up the roof. That's kind of what's going on there. So I'm going to fly now and we're going to make a second story like this. And this is actually pretty much how we make the prefab warehouse that you have in your inventory under the prefabs. And we're going to connect these together. Right? I'm going to go under here and snap, snap snap really easy uh let's go up to our second floor here um just to help kind of build i'm gonna put one there and there and uh let's put on some windows for this i'm just basically gonna rebuild that prefab i guess i'll just fly i'm rebuilding the prefab warehouse that you have uh to show you this concept of trusses and columns it's really important as we move forward if you want to try to build things in the system to get this concept so I'll get rid of these. And what you would do then is just hop up here. I find this easier to run to build the roofs. You are generally standing to the left of what you're building. With the way that the character is somewhat offset to the left, you're building kind of to the right of you. Um, you'll get used to it. Uh, that's how it's designed. So we'll fall back down here. And now you basically have the prefab warehouse. Right? But if you didn't watch this video and you're not really familiar with this type of building, it might be kind of foreign to you how this goes together. Well, that's what this video is about. So again, why I care about architectural details like this? This is because the grip equipment we want to build that is extremely detailed relies on the buildings being built correctly first. You can't make grip equipment and chain lifts and that sort of thing and speed rail and wall spreaders without all the correct... Uh, architecture there. So we have these details specifically so the grip equipment can work. Uh, what I'm going to take out here is called a uh, a web. What are these called? I forget. I've been studying architecture. There's a name for these, but essentially these run uh, parallel to the I-beams and they're just another support like that. They actually can go a little bit. There's a little bit more of them 
uh, that you can have. And I, I meant to switch the snapping back. I'm going to switch the snapping so that you can put more of them easier. Again, you can switch to editor and move them if you want, but it's, it's much, much slower. So that is the idea with the commercial set and the beams and the trusses that are happening here. So let's also now look at the roads. That went pretty quickly. Let's look at our road and sidewalk system. Let's take out a sidewalk here and a sidewalk there. So the idea with placing this is that you want to be looking towards the sidewalk this way, which I'll just show you. We're going to hit one like this and like that. And the curb is going to be facing you. So you're kind of facing at the building where that is. With two, we're going to have a corner sidewalk, right? And it's going to have a little rounded corner. And then you're going to be able to just run around pretty quickly, especially if you get fast at this. I'm going to switch to two. Uh, I bet most of you can do this faster if any of you play Fortnite. And we're going to just quickly drop a sidewalk around this. And this is showing, that, again, the power and flexibility of a modular system like this uh, combined with the typical video game fast building mechanics. So we just ran around this thing. It has a perfectly snapped together sidewalk. Pretty cool. Uh, let's do the roads now. These are going to continue ev to evolve as well. These are kind of small pieces for roads overall if you're making a big road, but should be okay. Uh, if I hit one... I'll place a couple of these here. You'll see that this is just road. I mean, it's just like asphalt, more or less, and there's no marks on it. But what if you want it to be more like a normal road with cars? You'll see that if you place it here, the one with the stripes on it, it's facing the wrong direction. So the general idea, again, in most cases, the way that this game works is that you want to be uh, standing to the left of what you want to place uh, or from the inside for walls. So we're going to click here, and I can just run down the street like this. And it's going to put them down. And how this works is if you go the other way, like this, you get the other half of the road. And we'll have more road variations. We're probably going to combine these together to make it a little simpler. Because that's a little bit of work to remember how that works. Uh, and again, if we go grab our sidewalks like this. Again, you want to kind of run down the road this way to place the sidewalks. And you are starting to build uh, the foundation of the road system. And you can make T-marks. T intersections, all sorts of stuff. If you go to the prefabs, you'll see that we've kind of done that for you in a lot of cases. But now that you've seen how it goes together, how fast and easy it is, maybe you won't even need these kind of prefabs. But it actually, they're very helpful for building a quick city where you don't want to build every single one. You just want to snap things together. They work really well for that too. And we're going to design them so they snap together a little bit better than they do at the moment. Uh, one of the last details you might want for the current road system, if you're watching this a little bit later, uh, further from the release, there's probably going to be a lot more stuff in here at that point because there's a lot more to make roads look good, like stop signs and traffic lights. I'll put this street light hitting two, hitting three, and you'll see that there's these different utility poles here. Those lights don't turn on yet, uh, and you can't actually, as of this release, you can't connect the wires between these two, but oh man, you will be in the future. So those are the uh, telephone poles, the utility poles. I'm going to hit Y, and when I'm placing these, I, I tend to do it from out here because they're just so big. It's kind of hard. So you can use the gizmos, but really the idea for this, um, the way it's designed is you click on something, you hit G, and you scroll your mouse. And now it, it's really easy to make um, these kind of like bigger world changes. Uh, and you don't need the world grid snapping to make this stuff happen. You can put it over here. I'm not saying this is how your sidewalk should look. But yeah, so that is building with the warehouse, trusses and columns, a lot of new concepts, and our sidewalks and roads now uh, all perfectly fit together in this grid system. And if you spend a little time, you end up with a whole city with a road system pretty quickly. And in the future, can't promise, our cars will be able to drive on these roads and they'll know that they're roads. That's kind of the goal with, um, with all of this, is to make this a system that all works together. Uh, and hopefully this starts to show you that as well. So that wraps it up for this video. Uh, in the next one, we're going to be looking at the urban system. And that should really wrap it up for this first introduction to the building system. This has been many months to design this to all work together. And it is the core for the future grip systems, future vehicles, and future everything is that we build sets in this way. I'll see you on the next video.